All right, it is Tecmo Tuesday, and it is playoff time. This is what it's all about. This is, uh, as Bill Parcells once said, this is why you lift all them weights. This is why you do all that shit. And uh, this first, it's the first wild card game of the slate, Colts and Raiders. So it's a very conf conflicted time for me. I've got a, uh, you know, the Raiders were. The Raiders, the Raiders are my team in real, in real. I really, I root for the Raiders. That's my team. So I have to, you know, beat the team that I, uh, that I like. That's that, you know, it, it, football is my favorite sport too. So of course, and living in New England, it's funny, you know, the Raiders are the, the most important team to me. And they're the only team that I've, of the four major sports that I haven't watched win a championship yet, but whatever, that's, that's another time for another day. For now, I'm going up against them as the Colts. I've got my ass kicked by them in week three. <clears throat> so this will be a chance for some revenge. And then hopefully move on to play our rivals, the Broncos. Now, well, not our rivals, the Broncos, the Raiders. I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking as a Raider fan over here, the Broncos. The, the Broncos are not rivals of the Colts. I didn't even play them in the season. Anyway... After the game, I'm gonna be uh, I'll do I'm I'm going to simulate and uh, you know and commentate on the other games. So we got Giants and Redskins, Dolphins and Steelers, and Saints Vikings. I'll watch them, I'll spectate, and I'll you know I'll just uh, I'll just commentate over them. Win, lose, or draw. There's no draw. It's it's gonna be a win or a lose, a win or a loss. I'm just curious as to how um, how the Raiders fared versus us in terms of the team ranking. So they were 11th in total uh, offense, while we were 27th. They are 21st, and we are 22nd. And as far as the pass goes, and as far as the run goes, we are in 22nd, and they they must be up there. Yeah, they're at the top of the league. Why not when you have Bo Jackson and Marcus Allen? So we're not at the bottom of either category. We are, well, 22nd in both the run and the pass, so very consistent. As far as defense goes, they're the third-ranked defense tied with the Bills, and we're eighth. So this is, you know, some pretty good defenses, and we actually have the top, the league's top pass defense. Not in rushing, though, right? Nope, very bottom. So this that's a problem when you're going against a team like the Raiders, who are... Um, yeah, who has such a juggernaut with running the ball? Uh, I'll, I haven't I haven't said this before, but I'd say uh, do not if you're uh, interested in the outcome of these games and uh, you don't want to know what happened, do not scroll down into the comments uh, because you're going to uh, get hit with some spoilers. Somebody posted a comment on it uh, some time ago that they they f uh, they fucked up by scrolling down. Yeah, don't do not do that. All right, I'm going to kick off. Oh, I'm so tempted. Like, I almost want to take the ball because uh, we failed miserably at stopping anybody on, on the first possession. But I, 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 I can't turn down the opportunity to do a double dip, and I really don't want to give them an opportunity to do the same thing. All right, I'm going to be calling strictly runs uh, just because I want to increase the chances of not getting blown up. All right, they have a split back. So I do. I did call a split back run. They are running with Marcus. Shit. Ugh. Come on, catch up to him. Catch up to him. All right, first play, not a good one. You know, they, they, these guys are so fucking dangerous. They have Marcus and they have Bo. Look at that. Six yards right up. They just bam. No problem. Alright, I, I did not call this play. They're running. Uh, they're passing it. Alright. Let's try. Uh, this third down. I know that I, I, I held into a third down last time in a situation kind of like this. Get him! Yes, alright. 
Held them to a field goal. I don't remember if we held them to a field goal at all in the last game. It didn't seem like it. They were, if they did kick any field goals, they were meaningless late game field goals. All right, so. That was a good showing by the defense, even though it was that, you know, we let, we let them run all over us for some, uh, that, that early, uh, that first play. Um, you know, that's going to happen. They're going to get big plays. It's just a matter of keeping them out of the end zone. And then hopefully our offense can, um, uh, can hold serve here. Now, did I, all right, I didn't make any changes at the end of the last game. Yeah, got that one knocked out of the way. All right, third down. Oh, what a catch in coverage. Nice play, Hester. I didn't like the look of that one at the time. It it seemed like he was uh you know, because the ball was, he, he he had stopped in the middle of the field, and that's where I thought he was going to throw the ball to it, but he, oh shit, here they come. Oh no, that's not good, that's not good at all. Shit. And that right there, it really sucks. That just fucking kills any I mean not that we had momentum but it like any you know anything positive from coming away with holding them to a field goal just went right down the pisser by giving up a, a fumble return I mean we need the breaks like that if we're gonna win All right, well, uh, that was a quick quarter. At least it seemed like it. Oh, nice pass, George. Right to him. That was beautiful. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna continue to trust Bentley. I know that was a bad fumble. Yo, oh my God, dude, fuck you. You know, you, I give you the ball twice, and you're gonna do pull that shit. Just like get the fuck out. Your 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 ass is on the bench. You, you, you can't do this shit to us in the playoffs, dude. We gotta matriculate here. They're covering well, but they're not. And I'm knock on wood. They're not blitzing on every freaking down like they did in the first game. I thought they were gonna blitz right there. Ah, son of a bitch! Everybody was covered. I was afraid to throw it, but I was gonna heave one up. I. Uh, Damn it! Ah! They closed in. Yes. All right, we get it back. Whew. All right. So we that gives us some breathing room. It gives us a a chance to stop the bleeding here, cause. Yes! Alright, alright, we're in business. Like I said before, we need breaks like that. Like that fumble that, um... That went the other way for us. Uh, we need shit like that to happen. Oh, here comes everybody. 
Johnson comes in cold off the bench thinking, you know, hey, I'm going to get a chance here, but I'm in the playoffs, so, you know, Bentley fucked up. Maybe I can, I can capitalize, and the whole fucking team just basically raped him. Oh, shit. Alright, Pat Beach. He's been a very good... What the fuck was that? Hit him after the play. Screw you. All right. Well, it we did. You know, the double dip is gonna be, uh, you know, not part of the equation here because they got a minute 36, which is plenty of time when you have uh, Bo Jackson and Marcus Allen. But if we can keep them from out of the end zone, then we'll get the ball to start the third quarter with a chance to take the lead. Oh man, a fumble would have been just sexy. Oh, so hoping for the pick right there. I'm calling passes now just because I think they're going to be doing it more. I wasn't really expecting Trader to be running the ball. I'm, I'm calling a run this time though because it's short yardage. Oh no. No, they're gonna get. Oh, they call, they call the timeout just in time. Shit, I thought the clock was gonna run out on them. Block it. Nah. Shit. Alright, well, that's not bad. It, it sucks because I really felt like we had a chance to keep them from scoring at all. But, um. You know, like I said, uh, uh, keeping them out of the end zone was key. You know, we gotta we gotta hold serve though. We gotta score. All right, that's no fumbles, none of that shit. Go Ivy Joe. Alright. I'm afraid, uh, you know, I'm afraid to run the ball much with the. With, oh shit! And that passing doesn't help that much either. Uh, when you're getting sacked like that. Oh shit, that was I- Oh, come on, man! Come on! One of us- uh, Yes! How the hell did we end up with that? That was a scrum. I don't know who recovered that. I'm gonna watch the film later and, and, and see whoever it was is, you know, if, if is, is, is gonna get- uh, I'm buying him a drink. Because that was a saver right there. Oh, man. Damn it. it what a way- another six-yard sack. Just like clockwork. Alright. What am I doing here? Making it, uh, you know, long yardage. Fuck! I hit the button to throw it right as Townsend got in on me. Shit. The third in a fucking mile. I'm not, I'm way out of field goal range here. Going to beach way the hell down there. Yes! Yes, desperation throw, but it still came up with it. That was clutch right there. All right, this is good. It's, this is tough to make. Uh... Man, man, these guys are just a relentless force. This defense, they're tough. It's tough to it's tough to make throws here because the coverage is you know it's tighter. And it, it's also tough to make completions when they're fucking blitzing on that play every time. It's making it third in a mile. Everybody dove! Yes! 
Like three guys dove and they all missed, which opened up the door. First lead in the game, first lead over this team in the whole, you know, between the two games that we played against them. Ate up the whole fucking quarter, basically. Alright, let's get something going here. Let's, if, let's get ourselves a turnover, you know? Uh, I think that's like the only way to really stop them. With this defense, anyway. Unless you luck out and call their play! Alright, third and... Five. Let's get lucky one more time. Shit, I got blocked. No, no, wrong angle, you idiot! Ah, That's disheartening right there. You know, it was third and five, I had this... Tingling in my nuts, like we were gonna, we were gonna finally get a stop on him. That's what I get for calling a pass too. They could be third and twenty and 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 run the ball and it could work. Now we gotta fight one more time. Man, Ivy Joe is. Oh no! Uh, Ivy Joe with the butterfingers. That sucks. <sighs> that might be the dagger right there. Two fumbles is the difference of this game. Two fumbles. Uh, one... <sighs> Two defensive scores. So they've, you know. Fuck off! Come on! Like with these fucking fumbles, the fix is in, man. That pisses me off. Like the, the, it's like the game wants you to lose. Like fuck you. Yeah, it's nice to blitz them now. Like, why couldn't we have done that on that third down? Yeah, it just plows right through. Like, it's nobody's fucking business. Ugh. This was a close game a minute ago, and now it's a, another fucking route. Uh, are, you, are you sure you don't want to fumble again? You know, why not? It's been, you know... The fucking theme. Oh, we'll, we'll, instead we'll throw an interception. We'll make up for it with a pick instead. Whatever. This is a tough way to, to, to go here. Look at that, we call the play, and the, 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 he still... He fucking gets a, no, almost a first down. Why not just let them score another touchdown, right? Just an explosion in the fourth quarter. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Ready, 
I don't remember who it was. Somebody respond uh, commented on the first game that we played against the played against these guys. They said you're gonna have to beat this team if you're gonna advance in the postseason. And uh, yeah, turned out that was the case. Another pick. That's a fitting way to go right there. Just uh, we got 21 to nothing in the fourth quarter. That was the perfect perfect way to finish off the game. Look at this shit. 13 yards rushing. For, uh, for us all together throughout the game. That's why we were at the bottom of the fucking league in rushing. Uh, yeah, that's that was that was bad. I you know it's uh, if it, it, I felt like we deserved better, a better outcome because we were hanging in there with these guys. And you know I mean the whole point of the season was to play as the worst team in the game and see how far we could go. And uh, you know, it's uh, so I had, you know, I, I, that was the point of it was to have the challenge. I for sure as hell wasn't gonna play as my team because then I would have just obliterated the fucking game. It would have been no, it would, it would not have been fun. Um, uh, but to have those fumbles uh, happen in that, it just it, it was just brutal, absolutely brutal, and it's, yeah, kind of unfair. Like I felt like uh, you know, we deserved better than to have those those fluky plays all you know all of them happened and we got the, we did get the one fumble recovery um you know they fumbled the ball once and we recovered our own fumble one time uh so yeah there were a couple of breaks that we caught uh but there was uh you know it was just a, a, a an awful fucking fourth quarter just a really gut-wrenching way to cap it off so uh, before I go into the into the rest of the wild card games, um, I'm gonna just say. Uh, so what I'll do here is I'm going to yeah I'll do the other wild card games. I'm gonna cover all the rest of the playoff games in the same format. I'll you know simulate them and and you know just commentate over them. And each week you know next week I'll do the divisional games and then the conference games and so on and so forth. For anybody who's not interested in watching the rest of the uh, of the playoff games uh, for the week, I'm gonna, you know, the, the video basically ends here. But from here on out, I'm gonna do the, uh, I'm gonna simulate the rest of these games. So, Giants, Redskins, Saints, Vikings, Dolphins, Steelers. I'm gonna change these to computer teams, uh, computer control teams, so that um, it doesn't skip past them. And then what was it? Vikings, Saints. Just double checking. Last thing I want to do is fuck that up. All right. So here is the first of uh, the next three wild card games: Giants and Redskins. The Cowboys ended up winning this division, which was a surprise to me. I mean, it was uh, it was a it was a, it was a heated fight all the way through. But I really felt like I thought because, you know, it's always usually Giants, Redskins, and Eagles more often than not take the NFC East. I was, uh, I, you know, I, I really thought that somewhere along the way it was either the Giants or the Redskins were going to take uh, take the crown. And it ended up being a big tie. Oh shit, the reverse, the Clark. They faked them out. So the the funny thing that here is the AI. It's gonna be there's gonna be some interesting things that happen here. Like they'll right, right now the coverage is 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 brutal right now for ripping. But you'll you I think you're gonna see sometimes these guys they throw it to the to a guy that's completely covered and a, somebody will be wide open down the field and they won't even look. I mean I know that sometimes you know uh, in real life quarterbacks will miss their. Uh, they, they don't get the right read so it happens so sometimes it's like come on man you it's plain to see and what's plain to see here is that our monk scored a touchdown here for the Redskins or the football team if you want to call them that but this is a different era this was when they were the Redskins and I will uh, refer to them as such
not going to, uh, you know, erase the history. Play fake for Sims. He's going deep to Ingram. He's all got him all alone. Oh, but he just overthrew him by a fingernail. He was all alone. He didn't even have to catch it in stride. If he would have caught that and... Oh, shit! The flea flicker didn't work! And the Redskins pick it up! Oh, man, that one went to hell in a handbasket. And the Redskins, it's first in... It's not first in goal. They technically can get a first down without scoring, but Eric Dorsey has other things to say about it anyway with the sack. And now it's <clears throat> essentially second in goal from the 20. Ernest Biner, if he... He better make sure that he crosses the goal line if he gets it to the 1. Because he... He had that infamous fumble for Cleveland in the 87 AFC Championship, I think it was. Well, Giants hold him to a field goal. That So that tackle on that fumble return really saved him there. It would otherwise be 14 to nothing. Instead, it's 10 nothing. And, uh, you know, it, it's similar to the Colts game. You know, it's like uh, those... It's a two-score game, a 10-0 game, early, and the fumble really fucked it all up for you. Otis Anderson. Old man Otis. He was, uh, at this point in his career, he definitely was, uh, I think he only had, like, one year left after the season. And he was basically a backup at that point. He really was, uh, his best days were long behind him. <clears throat> But he did, uh, he did well in that, uh, in that Super Bowl. And there's Dave Meggett. It's, I don't know why, you know, it's like, sometimes I wonder why they made the choices that they made for who is in, uh, the starting positions. Like, Meggett was more of a return guy. Like, Rodney Hampton should have been... I know that it, Hampton was a rookie in 1990, but like, he should have been the the guy in the running back two slot. Meggett should have just been the return man. Because kind of what it was. And I know a lot about the Giants of this era, because uh, my stepdad is a Giants fan, and this was around the time I was getting into football, and part of it was following what was happening with the Giants. Matt Barr is lining up for a field goal to cut the lead down to seven, so it stops the bleeding a little bit for the Giants. But we'll see how much that fumble uh, affects the outcome of the game. As we know, turnovers can can really put the dagger in. But is he going deep? Well, we'll never know where he was going with the ball because it got knocked to the ground. It's a nice defensive play there. Oh, and they closed in to force the punt, so... Here we go with 310 left in the oh, it's 310 and the score is 10 to 3. Interesting. So with 3 minutes or so left in the half, uh, the Giants have a chance that's a touchback barely. They could have really pinned him back there if he just took a little bit off that punt. The Giants have a chance to tie the game here after a tough start. And there's that flea flicker that went that did not work out the last time and they need to pass it off to Megan who's gonna this is a thing that he can do when you get the ball into space. You know, he's, he's pretty quick. Look at that little Megat run was uh, one of the calls that would happen with him. And that time, speaking of call, that was a def uh, the, the, the defense called that play correctly. And now another flea flicker attempt. And this time he goes to Ingram over the middle, and he might go, but they're going to catch up to him. So now it's first and goal. For the Giants. Does the draw. To 
bring it to the three. I don't know why the you know this is another one of these things the Giants are calling timeouts here when they they shouldn't be because you're right there. You don't need the time. You're it's it's a minute left. You can you're only gonna have a couple of plays. Why give them time to have the ball after? It's just you know simple programming. They don't have enough to. There's a touchdown. Ingram again. So. This is uh, quite the comeback here. It was a tale of two quarters, really. The the Redskins were in control of the game early, and the Giants have uh, really swung the momentum. But the Redskins do have a chance to to score before the half. There's not a lot of time to do it. They could get a big play and then kick a field goal. Knocked away. Oh man, they just busted through. I, you know, don't even bother, you guys. Just okay, now. Speaking of the number, it's ten to ten with ten seconds left after the whole ten three thing. I, I don't know what the hell's going on. I'd be more freaked out if I believed in weird shit like that. So it is halftime. A tight one. Tight one at the Meadowlands. We'll see if things change. I mean, we saw uh, our game was close at the half, too. And uh, it was close going into the fourth quarter. It was close like a minute into the fourth quarter. And then it just evaporated. So who knows what will happen. It may not be close all the way throughout the rest of the game. They like that flea flicker. And it's worked on every every time they've ran it, with the exception of that fumble that you know led to the field goal by Washington. Tim's in the shotgun. He's going. He threw it to just a couple. I think the Redskins players there were uh, fighting over it. That's the one reason why it didn't come an interception. And that was a dangerous delayed draw there because uh, they blitzed right through and they could have knocked him down before the ball got in his hands similar to the flea flicker fumble from earlier and they're going back to that flicker and it does not work so they're going to try another field goal here for Barr this is a long one though 52 yards I think he shanked it, it looked like the accuracy meter was over to the left and it is wide so the Redskins take over they don't get the ball where the snap, where, where the ball was spotted. They get it at the at the actual line of scrimmage. That's how it was back then. And Pepper Johnson with the sack puts the Redskins deep. And look at this, another sack. Carl Banks this time. Third and a country mile. And they play fake it because you know why wouldn't they be? For, and oh, a fumble. And Pepper Johnson picks it up and gives the Giants excellent field position. First and goal from the four. I guess it's taste of their own medicine after that fumble. But look at the blitz here. The defenses have just have shown up here in the second half. And now Anderson. Oh, he's busting tackles. He he wanted to get uh, his glory. That's it's now. Uh, well, about to be 17 unanswered points here as long as the kick is successful. And it is, so... 17 to 10 now. The Redskins scored quick and... Oh, man. This is a tough one. Brian Mitchell's a great return man. Not that he's been, you know, returning excellently in this game or anything like that, but still, you don't want to see the guy go down. Boy, it's just when it rains, it pours. Things are uh, things have not gone well for Washington since uh, since that uh, the, their, their re most recent field goal. They just haven't really had much go their way. He's going deep to Clark, and that pass gets knocked away too. The offense has definitely gone to sleep since that. Uh, since that last score by them. He's just, he's just hauling it out there for Clark. A nice catch. Wow, that cha Wait. 
boy, that, that they woke up the sleeping giant. Well, not sleeping giants. The giants are the giants. The, they woke up a sleeping redskin. And Rippin with a just hauled it up there. Kind of, <clears throat> I don't know if I'd say it was Hail Mary, but it was like a desperation attempt for some, you know, to get a spark going. They've been trying to go deep here for a little while now, and that one finally connected. So tie game. And they pin him down there pretty good at the 10 yard line. So maybe they can uh, get some defense going. I really don't give a shit who wins this game. I, 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 I just I, I just want to see a good game. <clears throat> Especially to follow up that awful, awful game that we had. Nice block there by the linebacker. Third and barely a yard. And Mega's gonna easily get this first down. So that'll be the third quarter, and it's looking to shaping up to be uh, a hell of a finish. Is OJ again? It's a first down. Mega on the delay, and it is wow. It looked like they're like that second level of defense was just not an ex non-existent, but they came in to stop it from becoming a big play. They're going back to the well again. Hey, why not? They say do something that works, and just keep doing it over and over again until they figure out how to stop it. So they're gonna do it for a third time in a row. You bet your ass. And this time Washington said, "Fuck you. We're not gonna fall for that Billy Jack bullshit for the third time in a row." So second and 16 now. And hey, they're gonna. They, what the hell was that? That was a forward pass. Wilbur Marshall picks it up, and that was. What the hell happened there? It was so they, that was the attempted flea flicker again. It, it, it failed for the second time. Yeah, it's worked. It's it's worked. Uh, numerous times in this game, but that is the second turnover. But it seemed like he pitched it to the uh, pitched it. To, I don't know if Sims it was past the line of scrimmage or what the hell the reason was why he pitched it forward. That first off, that's illegal. That's an illegal forward pass. It should have been incomplete. That should have been. Uh, Actually, it wouldn't have been an illegal forward pass. That would have been just a forward pass because they didn't, they didn't attempt to pass it yet. So it's just a, a technicality that uh, that Tecmo doesn't recognize because that was just a weird glitch. I don't think I've ever seen that happen in this game before. It's funny how how that how it works out. Biner break busting through for a huge pickup to the 16, and now with 2:13 to go. Oh man, this sucks. The Redskins are dropping like flies. Riggs is uh, Riggs is still playing, huh? Forgot he was in this game. Anyway, uh, well, T makes his presence felt. So there's time here for the Giants to hold him to a field goal. Maybe they'll miss it, but they gotta hold him to a field goal and then get the ball back. And uh, this third and sixteen play is gonna be huge. Play fake. And he throws to the end zone and knocked away. So they will get that field goal attempt. And the Giants will get the ball back with... They'll probably be just over a minute to go when they get their first play. Let's see if they even kick this and they do. So the Giants are going to have to score. A field goal ties it and a touchdown wins it. They once again take them down around the 10. So this is going to be an uphill climb here for the Giants. They're going back to that flea flicker though. It failed several times earlier, but this time right on the money to Steven Baker, the touchdown maker. And he is going to go to the 20, the 15, 10, 5 touchdown. Unbelievable. The, the, they, they, why did they fall for this? Why did they have nobody back there? Damn, so that play was what was kicking them. They shot themselves the foot with that flea flicker several times. And 
they ended up winning the game because of it. You know, it, it unless uh, we get a big return here. And they don't, so wow. Crazy finish. Uh, the Giants, they had, you know, they were basically even, almost dead even with Rush in the ball, but uh, Sims had a better day passing, 188 yards. But I you know most of that. Uh, in fact, I think it was about 90 yards worth of that, which is pretty much the almost the difference between the two, it was all in that last play. So it was very even the game was up until the end. And it really was even all the way throughout, but that last play was a fl it was almost a Minneapolis miracle type of situation for those of you that follow football and know what I'm talking about. It was similar to that. So, um... Oh shit! Well, all right. I'm gonna have to. I fucked up here. The uh... I'm gonna have to start. Uh, I'm gonna have to reboot this because my controller. I don't know. It fell asleep or it came unplugged, so it's not recognizing it. So, uh, just give me a second. All right, I'm back. I got this thing back up and running again. So, Dolphins and Steelers is next. And once again, I don't really care who wins. Uh, I guess I'm more. I mean, I. Uh, I guess I I like the Dolphins a little bit more than the than the Steelers. I can't. As a Raiders fan, I have. I, I'm a Raiders fan, but I'm a Raiders fan way past the. Uh, I didn't get to. You know, I didn't watch the Steelers Raiders rivalries. From the 70s, I was I was born in '83, so this isn't really much of uh, you know their their biggest games were before my time, but still I don't know I I, I still have harbor uh, a distaste for them so. Uh, you know, I, in, in real life, I would be rooting for the Dolphins, but, um, and that would depend on a lot of things. Like, I, I would actually, you know, when my team was done, which is almost every year, um, in recent years, the last, like, 15, 20 years or so, I'd always be rooting for a team that I felt could beat the Patriots, because I just fucking can't stand them. So a lot of times I would want Pittsburgh to win. So there, you know, there's a lot of different circumstances and whatnot. But <clears throat> for this, I mean, this is Tecmo, and now there's a fumble and it went out of bounds. Um, especially since uh, you know we're out of the playoffs, it doesn't really matter. So uh, like I said, I'm just looking for games that I, I just want to see some good uh, games. Like the Giants Redskins one that we just had. That was a hell of a game. Roby with a hell of a pun here. Too much though. Just a little bit too much. And they would have had them uh, pinned because the cover team was swarming on them. But went into the back of the end zone, so it's touchback. Well, he had a clean pocket, and then uh, there was that one guy that snuck up on him and got him to throw the ball last minute, he gets a completion. This is an interesting game. I, the, the big thing about this game uh, is the, 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 the matchup that's really interesting is the... Dolphins offense versus the Steeler defense because you're talking about one of the better offenses in this game and one of the better defenses in this game <clears throat> So it's when those so far, you know Pittsburgh got the stop so you know they're as far as that particular matchup goes It's oh and look at this uh, the but the Dolphins are the ones that are getting the defensive turnovers So let's see if it sets up the Dolphin offense and Marino to do his magic. Hmm. 
that's the end of the first. No score yet. But the uh, dolphins are threatening. Throws it the last possible second, and you know that just the play uh, let that play develop a little too much. It uh, kind of died off, but Paige will get the first down and move those sticks. But the Pittsburgh defense is <clears throat> all over that one. Marino's gonna run it. He, <clears throat> I think he's. Oh shit! Fumble, but Tony Page recovered it. So that was uh, very fortunate for the Dolphins, especially since they followed it up with a touchdown right away. Mark Super Duper with the touchdown. That's good. You know, that's one of those things that if you're Pittsburgh, you're just kicking yourself in the nuts because you had a chance. But the ball just bounces a certain way sometimes, and that time it bounced just you know, pages in the right place at the right time. <clears throat> but then again, you know, Pittsburgh, you're talking about being in the right place at the right time. The Immaculate Reception is all that was. Being in the right place at the right time. So I can't feel uh, too bad for them. I can't, too bad, I can't feel too badly for this, uh, for this virtual Pittsburgh team in this, uh, this particular fictional universe of the NFL. Because of what happened in real life. You know, 20-some years before... Well, it's like 40 years ago now, but it was it was 20 years ago uh, at the time of this game. So the Dolphin defense is uh, is stepping up here with uh, you know keeping Pittsburgh from moving the ball. I mean, the Pittsburgh offense isn't that great, but uh, you know the, the the Miami defense is what's been the difference here because that touchdown that Miami has you can definitely give the assist to the Dolphin defense for giving them the ball in such good field position so Dolphins have a chance here with a minute left in the half to make this a two score game but oof, dangerous pass there by Marino hand off to Smith to get some nice blocking just enough for a first down. I thought they would measure that at least. It's still a little far away from a field goal, even with Stojanovic, who's one of the better kickers in the game. Marino's got some open guys. He's got... To, oh, he threw it out of bounds. Well, actually, he might have been in. That was. It looked like it was going out of bounds. I think he was actually in. So that was off of uh, Duper's hands. And David Little with a sack. And they're, they're not even going to try a field goal. It's it, they're, they're just going to... They're gonna go for a run. Yeah, see, this is what I mean with the AI. You don't, you know, you don't have Bo Jackson or Barry Sanders out there who can, you know, who could actually threaten to get a big touchdown. Unless you're playing the Colts defense, because we saw Miami do that shit against us. But you know, the, the, it's the thing about the computer AI. Sometimes they do things that kind of make you wonder. <clears throat> Time management is one thing, but I mean, I again. It's, uh, you know, the NES, I can't imagine that they would have been able to put a lot of complex logic in that. Reno's got some open receivers, but, oh, he threw it to the middle of the field where the one Pittsburgh defender was, and he's able to close in on it. got open guys again but Marino's gonna run the fucking thing really like I think Marino has like like 25 rushing yards to his career <laughs> something like that he uh and now Roby takes a little bit off the punt but a little way too much it was didn't even reach the 20 
Yeah, Marino wasn't much of a running quarterback. He was a pure pocket passer. Especially toward the end of his career when he... I, if he ever tried to run, it was... He might have gotten like two yards out of it. <clears throat> Pittsburgh needs to do something here, though. They need to... Because their defense is carrying this team. The only reason why the Dolphins even have seven points is just because there was a fumble by the offense. And look at that. That was a... A nice play. Dangerous throw. It was in the middle of the field with his tight coverage, but just got it there in time. First of the throws it just in time as well before the pressure gets to him and connects to the touchdown to Derek Hill. So this should tie up the game and just like that, it's a tie game. And, uh, geez, Gary Anderson, one of the better kickers of all time, but not good on that kickoff. Reno's going deep for Clayton, and he's gonna just say, you know what? Well, let's take the lead back on the first play. I don't like this being tied up bullshit. So, there's been touchdowns to both of the Marks brothers now. One to Duper, one to Clayton. <clears throat> so that's two straight touchdown passes of uh, at least 50 yards, if I'm not mistaken. I think that the Pittsburgh touchdown was from their own territory. And look at this, we'll have some decent field position for Pittsburgh after that. Return. So Pittsburgh's going to have to answer back. They had to, you know, <clears throat> really earn that touchdown. They were clawing and scratching all day. They, they, and then they got the one big play, the one long pass. And then Pitts, that vaunted Pittsburgh defense. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, gave up the, uh, the, the, the big touchdown on the next play. So here we go. Second and short for the Steelers and oh man make their oh and shit the play fake it goes back to the original line of scrimmage so it's third and ten is this gonna work it's gonna work wow so that pass went behind line of scrimmage to uh, I think it was to John Williams and how Merrill Hodge gets nothing. Play fake, this is, uh... Oh, just overthrown. It looked like it was going out of bounds, but it actually landed in. Brister almost gets sacked again. Instead throws a pick, even worse. And a pit, you know, you, you, it's the season of giving. It's better to give to it than to receive. And that was uh, that was what Pittsburgh needed right there, because the Dolphins with a seven-point lead, if they would have found a way to get even a field goal on that last drive, that might have been lights out. There would there would have been not much left for uh, Pittsburgh to do. Barring a miracle. So here they go with it. Just, and the, another interception. Damn. I was, in a, you know, like, I thought he was covered too. It seemed like it was a very unnecessarily dangerous pass to make. It wasn't like... And again, Marino throwing a, a short pass that was well covered. Was, like, what is what is the point of that? You're, there's no reward to that risk. Maybe you get four yards out of that. And here comes everybody again. And look at that. He makes the catch and gets the first down. What a play that was. Clutch. Clutch third down play. Both by 
uh, Marino, and I didn't see who made that catch, but uh, whoever it was. And look at this, Smith busting through. Looked like it was a sure tackle at the line. Instead, it's a first, another first down. So they're moving the sticks and forcing the Steelers to use their timeouts. And there's the last one right there. So, but not that it matters that much. The, the computer seems to, even when they have the ball, and they, they they don't try to run out the clock. They just call a play right away, which makes it funny when, because you see, the if Pittsburgh would have tried to call a timeout, and they would have called it right around the same time that Miami calls their play and lines up on the field anyway. So, well, they're gonna get the ball back because that was third down, and Roby puts this one through the end zone. And the kick is good. So here we go. 54 seconds left. And the Steelers are... Oh, shit. I thought he was going to get a lot more out of it. I would think you'd want to be... With 41 seconds, um, you need to do something more than just handing off to your slow running backs. 25 seconds. You need some urgency here. You have maybe two plays if you're lucky. And there's Louis Lips. You're still going to have a chance now from the 31 yard line. This is it. This is your, here's your ball game. Brister back to throw. He throws it short. Even if he would have caught that, he would have been engulfed. So that was some piss poor clock management at the end of the game. You got to give the Steelers credit, though. They held Marino to only 92 yards. But there were interceptions galore. <clears throat> mostly by uh, thrown by Brister so the Miami defense they they were the uh, MVP of this game because they I mean not that the Steelers like I said they don't have a great offense so it didn't it wasn't like they needed a lot to happen but uh, the uh, but the, those fumbles and uh, that the, the, the first fumble in particular. Oh shit! I I almost texted out of the game there. Uh, that one that, that that set up that first touchdown. That was huge. All right. So last game of the uh, of the day. Whoops. All right, Dalton Hilliard, I didn't even know he was hurt, but he's healthy now. And we have Vikings and Saints. You know, it's funny, I mentioned the Minnesota Miracle, the, the Minneapolis Miracle. And this is the t these are the two teams that played in that game in real life, so. Vikings and Saints in the playoffs, it's, uh, in you know, in real life, there's quite a history. Not at the point that this game was made, because uh, the Saints didn't have a lot of playoff history yet they were just starting to get to be a pretty good team and Herschel Walker with the return for the Vikings he was the center of that infamous trade that basically birthed the dynasty for the Cowboys Sam Mills with a sack the Saints are kinda like the Steelers in a way in this game their, their defense is definitely better than their offense Wilson going... Oh, my God. He put it right on him. And look at Newsom, the punter, just like... Plowing through everybody. He knocked the guy down. And there's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Vikings, and it's a touchdown. So we have seen... In three out of the four games here, uh, defensive touchdowns on fumble recoveries. And in the first quarter, I think, for all of them. And then, of course, in that Dolphins game, you had the fumble that, uh, you know, was the catalyst. It didn't score, but it set up 
one of the few touchdowns in that game because it was basically a defensive struggle. It ended up being the difference of the game. Oof. That was a, a tough one. I, I don't think it was it, it was in any danger of being intercepted, but it was just uh, there was coverage uh, nearby. Didn't work out. Now I got a third along here. And Hilliard does not have enough to get the first down, and they'll be punting it away. And Lewis on the return, and nice coverage. Keeping them inside their own 20. Diving catch by Herschel. Setting up a second and short. And they're doing... Oh, this is that tricky dicky play with the double handoff reverse. And it ends up being incomplete. Third down. And Herschel's going to get the first down. And they're going to do it again. And they're going deep again. It's going to Carter, not Chris Carter. That's Anthony Carter. But the Saints knocked that ball away. Play fake. They like to do a lot of deception, these Vikings do. Uh, you know, they got that double handoff, flip back semi flea flickerish type of thing, and then you've got uh, the play fake. But they'll be punting the ball here. But, um... We'll see if they get into the fumble. I, I, you know what? I, I stand corrected. It was not, um... This was in a defensive score they had last. It was a special team score. Because it was on the punt that they got that fumble. Ironhead Hayward with the flea flicker and oh knocks it away. See, you should have gone for the receiver at the top of the screen. He was open and he was downfield and there wasn't anybody that could have caught up with him. And an interception over the head of the receiver and into a double coverage. That was a bad play. And these turnovers might end up being the killer. See, that's a, that's a, a fake reverse. So that that run is designed to make you think they might be doing that, uh, that, that double reverse play. And now we've got third and 11. And they're trying that reverse again, and almost intercepted. So, another, and now it's a field goal, y you know, you gotta give it to the Saints defense that, that it's not their fault that they're gonna be down uh, well they might be down 10 nothing here if they get this no missed it wide right so that ended up coming away empty-handed after the uh, after the pick but the Saints defense has kept it from uh, it, they haven't given up any points because that touchdown was a special teams play and same thing with the Vikings defense they've been they've been doing well I think that that block right there actually broke up a, a potential interception for the Vikes. Walsh in the shotgun. He's going away. He's just throwing into coverage, man. I know that like just sometimes it's like, what do you do? Do you just take a sack or do you try to run? I mean, it's... But these balls are getting thrown right to the defenders. And I remember when I was looking through the stats, I think it was after week four... I don't know if it was week four or week eight, because I looked at the league leaders uh, during those quarter milestones of the season. Walsh was the top-rated quarterback in the NFL at one point. I think it was after week four. So, I don't know if the schedule had any, you know, it was favorable for them and had anything to do with it. I don't know. But here, because now it's just a plain, regular-ass reverse, and that leads to a fourth down. And see, that's an, this is like the worst of the AI, the computer's AI, with the time management. Because why would you call a timeout? With under two minutes left on fourth down, when you're punting the ball, 
You know, it's like you, you say, I want to make sure that uh, you know, I, I, I give them as much time as they need to, to score against us. No. He'll get up the middle, and, you know, there's a chance here with you know, there's 40 seconds left. There's plenty of time to get into field goal range. And there might be enough time to score, but, you know, the, with New Orleans' offense and the <clears throat> way it operates, probably not. And now they're in a bit, you know, they only got two yards out of that play. And they, and it chewed up some time. And they went back to the same exact play. And they only got a few more yards. So now, with 12 seconds left in the half. He's gonna get a sacked, and that will be the end of the half. So, so much for that. Quite a sloppy game. Uh, I must say. There's some bad quarterbacking. Uh, solid defense, but a lot of it is just, you know, you're in the right place at the right time because the, you know, Walsh in particular is playing a horrible game at quarterback. And they, they haven't, you know, really gotten much going with the offense at the running game either. Uh, so yeah, State's offense has been, has been bad. Um... The Vikings have been good in, you know, defensively. Like I said, some of it is right place, right time, but uh, they've also been in right position and they've gotten these big blitzes. And then their offense has been better too. Uh, overall, they haven't, you know, that one touchdown wasn't even there doing, but they moved the ball a little bit better. And there's another interception that went just right into the defender's hands. It's almost like he was off the coverage because he knew that Walsh couldn't accurately throw to him. And now they're going to try this deep ball to Carter again, and he is going to make the catch this time. Wide open in the end zone, and it is now a two-score game, and the Saints are going to have to wake up. Their, off their offense is going to have to wake up to make this uh, happen. To at least swing the game back into their favor. It's funny because I, you know, it's I, I gave so much shit to the NFC Central this season. And a fumble! This Vikings have it. Oh my gosh. You know, it's like the, the Vikings special teams might be the, uh, you know, the, at this point might be the MVP of the game. They might, or, or, or the Vikings might actually just send a game ball to Steve Walsh because his passes have been just brutal. But here's a fumble. And the Vikings, you know, when you're hot, you're hot. And Anthony Carter, who got the last touchdown, is going to pick the ball up and take it to the one. Well, I got to say, you know, this game has definitely not had the same flow as the last two. This has been one-sided games uh, for sure. It's still time for the Saints, but you know they don't. They just, I just don't see it happening. Oh, here comes a, Oh, I was gonna say potentially a big return. They have to score quick. They just don't have a very explosive offense, and I don't think that they have the horses to get into a track meet here with the Vikings. And as I say that, they get a first down. Then is that their first first down of the fucking game? It just feels like it. I may be wrong. But, nope, Flea Flicker. And he throws it to the end zone and a touchdown. So, hey, you know, I, 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 I called him out. And they turn it around and score. So, you know, they, hey, it's exactly what they needed. It might be too little too late. But, uh, you know, it's still an uphill climb. But there is time. But they needed that to happen before, you know, they needed to, and, you know, instead of throwing one of the many picks that they threw. Uh, so Saints defense has to step up here. Because they've been the only thing keeping this game from being a complete shit show. But here's Jones picking up a big first down. And this should be the last play of the third quarter here. And there's another first down. 
It's not looking good here for New Orleans. And if the Vikings do score on this drive, then, you know, we can, uh... You can say that it's good night, Irene. He's a blitz. And that's exactly what the Saints needed right there, was to send him back. <clears throat> make a field goal attempt more difficult. Or maybe they can get lucky and get a turnover, but... Herschel Walker's going to get almost a first down. So here it is, field goal... Uh, by the Vikings, this should put it away if they connect. And Fouad Reves with the kick, and it is good off the upright and in, so 24 7 is the score, and that should pretty much do it. Minus some Minneapolis miracle type of shit, which would be hilarious. But usually that kind of shit works against the Saints, so... Not expecting it. Ugh, excuse me. I'm, I'm recording this one quite late, so if I'm yawning, I apologize. An Ironhead Hayward with, you know, uh, these runs for first downs would be nice when it's, you know, a tie game early on in the first quarter. You know, you pick up 12 yards when you're down uh, 17 with 2 minutes and 45 seconds left is not going to cut it. And that pass gets knocked away. Two and a half minutes left for the Saints to try to make this respectable. And here it is, fourth down. <laughs> then you know they didn't even trust Steve Walsh to do anything with it, so they just handed it off and didn't even make the line of scrimmage. And the Vikings just want to rub it in a little bit more. And it's going back to the trick plays, you know, why not, I guess. And Herschel goes deep for the catch. And Herschel runs it in for the score. And, uh... They are waltzing in. I've said, you know, <clears throat> I was alluding to it earlier. I was giving the NFC Central so much shit, saying how much that division sucked this season. They, uh, you know, there were the, the first place team was under 500 for most of the season. Then the Vikings went on a big winning streak toward the end. They made it a respectable nine and seven season, and they go on and they win a playoff game. You know, they, and they win big. So, uh, you know, they proved me wrong. So I'll give them that. They and look at this. Just like when it rains, it pours, and it's pouring for the Saints. This was what it was like for them in real life too. In this era, they could not win in the playoffs. They got beat every single time they made it, even when they had were in favored, when they were at home. It didn't matter. So this will be the last play of the game. And you know what? Oh, this is gonna say. I thought it was. Uh, I think they're going to do another reverse flea flicker pass deep for the hell of it, but instead it is uh, just a reverse, and that is the game. Look at the, you would think, if you won 31-7, to that you would have more than 138 yards of total offense, but they tell, that's what they have. 51 yards rushing, 87 yards passing. That's it for the Vikings for the Vikings. They did outgain New Orleans, whose offense was also anemic. Uh, but, and look, Anthony Carter had that one catch for 49 yards, which was most of Minnesota's passing yard, yardage. But, you know, there was a lot of sacks. Um, but still, I mean, the big thing was the fumbles and the picks. Three picks. Just the just a sloppy ass offense for the Saints. They didn't go anywhere, and 
yeah, it was. It, it didn't help that they were turning the ball over and, and everything. So that concludes the wild card round, and we'll just take a quick look at uh, at what we've got left. So for the AFC side of things, the Raiders and Broncos <clears throat> will be doing battle, and then on the other side, the Dolphins and the Bills. So this is interesting because you've got on one side of the bracket two teams out west, and on the other side of the bracket two teams in the east. So it's a, oh man, it's kind of it's kind of painful too that the Dolphins advanced. Uh, you know, I was saying like, oh, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, who wins the game. But now that I think about it, it's funny how, um, you know, it, it does kind of just put an additional dagger in there that that uh, that the Dolphins uh, did get further than we did. But whatever it is, it, it it is what it is. It is nothing to do really. You know, our situation had nothing to do with where. It, they were at uh so on the other side we got well in, in another big game, uh, battle of division rivals cowboys and giants it almost oh, wow if the saints would have won this game against the vikings then you'd be seeing all four of the divisional playoff games would be amongst divisional teams you have you got the bills and dolphins you got the raiders and broncos you have the cowboys and giants and then you would have saints and 49ers I'm I'm kind of pissed that it's not the case, but whatever. You, you know, the Vikings earned that game, that's for sure. And the Saints did nothing to deserve a win in any capacity. So it's uh, <clears throat> I guess unfortunate for somebody with uh, OCD like me who likes symmetry, but whatever. It's uh, we should see some good games next week. I'm gonna be doing doing the same thing here with. I'm just gonna do commentary over the games and simulate them i'm not going to play any of these games and uh wield any kind of influence one direction or the other i just want to see how it plays out because you know it is a bit um you know like uh, considering how much was invested how much time was invested in the season i don't want to just hit skip and see what i see who wins and just move right on to the next one i want to see how it plays out so next week we will watch the divisional games <clears throat> and uh, and then we'll go from there. So, uh, you know, just a quick, you know, backtrack to the Colts. Unfortunate that it ended this way. It sucks, but um, it was still fun. It was it, it made it making it to the playoffs with the Colts is still an accomplishment because the, this is the worst team in the game. They don't have many redeeming qualities to them, so. It was uh, it was quite the uh, it was quite the ride. It's just uh, especially the way it went down. We we were in the game at the end, and then it all just the wheels came off at the end. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. And uh, you know we'll go get them next year. But until then, we'll let's just enjoy the games that are left, and then we'll blow up that other bridge when we come to it. So. We'll see you next time.